We are going off the rails. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the show dedicated to Disney and Tangents. I am your host and conductor, Frank, and joining me as passengers on this fantastic voyage, we have Rhino. Pizza Hut. We have Jackie Gailey. Hello there. And we have Denny Sunderly. Hey. <laughs> We have another fantastic episode for you where we are continuing our series of appreciating Animal Kingdom, and this time we are moving on to Africa. It's going to be a lot of fun. Buckle up. But before we get there, we have to remind you this is brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel. If you like our content and you want to support us, please book a vacation through Dreams Unlimited Travel. It costs you no extra money, and you get the support of an awesome Dreams Unlimited Travel agent. So head over to dreamsunlimitedtravel.com today for a free no-obligation quote. Okay. Wow. Uh, I don't believe we'll have any Pizza Hut updates for you uh, besides what Rhino already threw in there. I don't know how we could find any more information unless he already went to a bank and they you know, ran a background check on him to see if it's even worthwhile of investing some extra money in him uh, to make sure he gets his Pizza Hut off the ground. I, I don't know. It, not yet, Frank. It's, uh, it's all not yet. <laughs> Someday. Okay. Well, we'll get to, we, we'll update you when we get to that point in time. But you know what? It very well could happen. So for everyone out there thinking we're joking, I, I think it's like eighty percent joke. There's a good possibility this could actually happen. No, I am. I am. Yeah. Are we manifesting the pizza? I, hut? Yeah, I want this to happen. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Perfect. <laughs> I hope everyone enjoys watching and listening to this at home. And like, because for us, this is all happening within the span of a couple <laughs> hours. But for them, it's going to be this weekly journey that they get to take of finding out more. And if we have like news or something that pops up, it could be even longer than that. Mm. They could be day one. They could have been like, I need to know this freaking information about Pizza Hut. And like, oh, you making me wait a month and a half? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. But, you know, it reminds me of how that <laughs> this conversation reminds me of how, you, you know, how we were excited about the thought of a vintage Pizza Hut and the vintage mm -hmm. looking buildings. It reminds me of when now you see an IHOP and it's the original A-frame IHOP, not the new ones that they've oh, built. Yep. And you get excited. Like, Imagine if you opened a new Pizza Hut that had that vintage actual. Yeah. Oh, that's what this is going to be. That's what we've got to be. Jackie yeah. gets it. Yeah. Well, well, I don't. I don't yeah, agree sorry. with that with the IHOP. Yeah. I didn't mean but to interrupt you. But no, yeah, no, you're 100 percent correct, Jackie. You're on board. See, I, we didn't have IHOPs where I grew up at, so oh, I don't feel okay. the nostalgia when I see the IHOP. But mm. I feel that I way either, when I. But I do agree with the Pizza Hut nostalgia thing. Yeah. Oh no, for sure. But I, I feel that way when you see the McDonald's that have yeah. the big, the big long arches mm -hmm. out front, mm -hmm. even the old style of McDonald's from the 90s and such like yeah. no one there's not really a lot that are still around but mm -hmm. I, I don't know i don't know we used to have know. one where i live but they ripped it down and built a brand spanking new one mm. and it's beautiful but i miss the old one because i'm like hmm. jackie i'm worried Anyways. you might actually cry about this yeah well i like vintage gonna... stuff i'm okay. kind of vintage well speaking <laughs> of vintage Let's talk about Africa at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Worst segue ever. Made no sense at all. But we're going to make sense of it. The pizza but. down in Africa. Oh. Yeah. That's the classic song. Yeah. By Toto? Toto. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Toto, sponsored mm -hmm. by Pizza Hut. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. So Perfect. coming in on our list at number 24, we have a celebration of Festival of the Lion King. Come inside and experience the music and pageantry of this larger-than-life show. And my goodness, is this show larger than life? I mean, it, it's. I, I know there's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of, uh, I don't know the right word to say, but there's a lot of disagreement in this particular group. Maybe only one person disagrees with it, and that's Denny. But I, I don't know how Festival of the Lion King can't be your favorite show at Animal Kingdom compared to Finding Nemo the Musical. But this is also isn't fair because right now, technically, as of recording this, Finding Nemo the Musical has not reopened yet as the great, big, beautiful, and beyond musical, the Finding Nemo sequel to story Dory of the fish down below the <laughs> all sea. That, he said. All, all of those things and more. I, I believe I got the name correct there. But of Festival of the Lion King, I mean, it's just got everything. It's got the music of the Lion King. It's got live singers. It's got 
dancers. It's got tumble monkeys. Soon. It's well, we're we're gonna pretend people are watching this six months later. So they're six back. Months. They're okay. here. Mm-hmm. Tumble monkeys are in. This, we're talking. We're talking. We're talking. Show. We already got the Pizza Hut off the ground. Yeah. Oh it's, my gosh. Yeah. And when, they can come visit us yeah, anytime they want. Sorry. Brick and mortar is done for sure. Maybe it's not fully open yet, yeah. but uh, it's it's getting it's getting far enough along. The ovens have been installed mm. and the freezer <laughs> to store all of their frozen dough and such. It's it's all all ready to go right there, but. Yeah, I love this show. I there every time I'm like I think I've seen this show too many times. Then it gets to the big finale and they recap all the way through all the songs and it yeah. just it ends in the same big boom as the Lion King ends. I I just love this show. I love it. I love the fire. Fire tour. Be prepared oh, for the yeah. time. Of the yeah, because I love I love when they sing "Be prepared" and I love when they do that because it's just one of those. I'm like, ooh, ooh it gives yeah. me chills every time. They're so talented too, and oftentimes easy on the eyes. Oh, what do you mean by that? I mean my eyes find it easy to look at them. See, usually when there's like bright stuff in a dark room, like fire, it kind of hurts eyes. my eyes. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, maybe we're misinterpreting things here. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> I like the flying birds. Mm-hmm. They're so pretty. Denny, there's, what do you think? There's a lot for kids here. So that's well, that's a lot of fun. Well, I know, that's Denny's I know. positive. There's a lot for kids there's here, but not for, for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, I mean, I enjoy it. I do. It's just not my favorite. I just don't. I'll go. If you're an adolescent, I can see why you like it. But an adult, <laughs> no way, no Jose. What are Wait, you that's doing not how there? it's the expression. I'd rather watch a show about a fish who couldn't find yes. their way home. I had to rely I, on their dad finding them. And I get hmm. to see Peach. Peach is my favorite. <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> what? Talk about that. Okay. Finding Nemo character. Yeah. Um, but it is incredible. The The talent is 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 there it's so so good it's so good go on next wow <laughs> a bold move by the one and only dennis und she said circle of life more like circle of crap let's, let's move on circle out of this conversation yeah. and move on okay coming in at number 25 we have kilimanjaro safaris take a safari ride through the lush african savannah to search for lions elephants giraffes and more and safaris uh i'll take that mm-hmm. love the safari absolutely yeah that's such a good that's just such a great ride it is great attraction i just i've always loved love love that it's it's just so good you have to do it i mean you can't go to animal kingdom and not go see what that's all about yeah and in in uh you know in theme park after theme park filled with attraction vehicles connected to a track this is actually something that isn't it, yeah you know the know. the safari guide steps on the gas and off you go and mm-hmm. it's going to be different every time every and the time. lion might be doing his thing and might not and i mean the new goat enclosure that they've made <laughs> super cute i like, haven't seen I that go, yet Julia. Is it, we is got it, goats we got goats <laughs> Mm-hmm. I like the rhinos. Yes. Personally. Obviously. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Big fan. Have you seen the baby one? Um, there's a couple of babies there now. Yeah. I was going to say, mm-hmm. I don't think I've seen the newest baby because there's another baby now. Yeah. There's, but yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. There's there already so, so... Ranger, isn't his name? Yes. Ranger. Ranger. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's just so many babies all the time. Feels yeah. like there's always a new animal being born uh-huh. into the savannah. It's a big yeah. deal so. with the rhino thing, though, because yeah. I did the petting the rhinos backstage once. You couldn't take any pictures. I'm very bitter about it. But the... <sighs> The um the whole thing was they saying they trade the male rhino with the other zoos around to try and get them to breed it, and they were having a lot of trouble that mm. they couldn't they were worried it wasn't going to work so now they've had two babies so I'm like okay that's, that's good cool. that's great because they're on their way yeah. to being an extinct species not yeah. long from now so mm. hopefully not yeah hopefully they can and they work so hard yeah. I find it fascinating how <laughs> you know sometimes you see people getting so annoyed with. Disney in general and things that they, you know, whatever. But I try not to focus on that part. But I love what they do at Animal Mm -hmm. Kingdom with regards to these animals. And, you know, there was that incredible series on Disney Plus that um, debuted last year. But if you haven't seen it, um, it's a great look at Animal Kingdom and what they do. And you can really learn what these 
the cast members that work with these animals, it's so cool. And like with the rhinos and even the, I think it was the anteaters that they did a whole thing with where they, they had like a date, mm-hmm. you know, it was like a, it was like date night because they were trying to breed and they were trying to like set up this perfect scenario. And so they had little anteater date night and they had these like, I forget what they were. They, they oysters. made like, oh, no, well, it wasn't oh. oysters, but it was like fruit. And so they, they had like this whole thing and it was like this whole, it was adorable. Aww. Anyway, I can't remember what I watched last night to to describe it because my memory is just gone. So mm-hmm. trying to remember something from a year ago. But it was so cute because the cast members are so excited and they take you through the process of, you know, of the baby being born. And it's just – it's really cool when it's such an endangered species to be able to see that. It's, it's yeah. just cool. I think it's really cool. I had to look up the one joke from Friends when Phoebe is – uh, being the surrogate for her brother Frank and oh, yeah. his his wife, and they're talking about how it's their only one chance, and so he's like, "Why don't you get drunk? It worked for a bunch of girls in my high school." <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> so I'm thinking of that as we're well, talking about just kidding, these animals breeding. It's not working. It's not working. Well, why don't you just get drunk? It mm-hmm. worked for a bunch of girls in my high school. That's all. Simple yeah. as that. Listen, that's that's where my brain goes to. Just whatever TV show may have made a reference that's of hilarious. something at some point in time that it could work out as a joke. That's where I go. There must. I picture this little file cabinet in Craig's brain <laughs> that just has like pills. Everything. Yep. <laughs> it's got cobwebs way back in the I, I mean, just everything. You open yeah. it up and you just hear the Seinfeld theme, basically. Yeah, I love safaris. Rhino, speaking of mating, what well, wasn't there an animal mating one time when we were on the safaris with Kylie? I feel like that happened. Yeah, and I feel like it was a big one too. It wasn't like a tiny one. Oh, it was word. something where they were like, and yeah, that's exactly life. what yeah. happened. And as like oh, they were, my word. <laughs> there's a vlog out there of it. It was the day that we did our Animal Kingdom day. We went to Kilimanjaro Safaris and we ate some food at Nomad Lounge. Back in the days when we would do like a long vlog where we would actually do ducks, like six was it? things. It wasn't like birds, ducks? was it? Mm, well, no, the ostriches. Was it the ostriches? No. Yeah, was it the ostriches? Like. Because remember, you hated the ostriches, yeah. and I feel like we talk about that in the video because one like comes up to the car, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care for ostriches. He really? Hates, he yeah. hates and them. those are hates the birds them. that I know with an O. So oh, I, I don't... Uh, that uh. The baseball team in Baltimore, it never made sense to me. I don't understand what it's about. Oh. Just didn't get it. So the I, I would understand if it was the Baltimore ostriches, for sure. That would make sense. Oh, for but. crying out loud. I'm, yeah, I'm literally just doing that one to try to get under your skin, Denny. I think it might be working <laughs> just a little bit. Rhino's going to watch that vlog, and we won't hear from him yeah, for the next 10 minutes, and then he'll be like, this is what it was. Found it. This found is what the it animals. Was. It was in a pizza hut. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> tra, tra, tra. <laughs> That's how they got him to do it. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> Date night at Pizza Hut. Awesome. You light those candles? <laughs> just like Jackie said, you light the candles. Give him some Pizza Hut. You said that. Aphrodisiac. I apologize to all the parents out there watching or listening to this with their <laughs> young ones. Oh, my. <laughs> Already apologize for it. Okay, moving on to number 26, Gorilla Falls Exploration Trail. Walk through a tropical forest inhabited by African wildlife, including gorillas, hippos, and exotic birds. Why did you turn into Hoobie Halloween? <laughs> what? No. No. Just that's Casey doing... Kasem. Oh, Okay. Sure. You had a little bit of the, like, <laughs> this is my thermos. <laughs> I've never seen that movie, so I. Oh, I'm sure you have a ton of I've never watched it. I don't. I don't care for Adam Sandler's films. They're not. <laughs> oh. They're. Uh, they're. Uh, it's just. Don't listen to him. You know, I. I prefer sophisticated media. So, oh my gosh! Yeah. Really? Yeah. We ain't buying. It. Wow. Yeah. It's so like I don't. I don't like his movies. You know, mm, I prefer more movies media. like Uncut Gems and such. Uh, Punch drunk love. That's funny. <laughs> Someone say something. The Truman Show. <laughs> what? Why? Oh, we were just naming no, comedic I actors meant... in serious roles. No. Uh, Good morning. Good wait, morning. who's serious in Uncut Gems and Punch Drunk Love? Adam Sandler. What? Yeah. Disappears into the role. 
I did not know. Right into the hmm. room. Okay. So you know what my favorite part is in the safari? My super fave is when giraffes. Jackie, we oh, are already we moved on. <laughs> oh, we oh my God. Were we on the gorillas? I didn't know either, Jackie. It's fine. Did you introduce the gorillas? I did. Oh, you did? That was but the whole... Okay. <laughs> what was your last thing? Denny, talk into the microphone. <laughs> no, I don't want to. <laughs> no. What was your what was your last thing on the safari? I love it when the I love it when animals, especially giraffes, walk in front of your vehicle. Yes, and, and then you have, you have to, wait. to stop and wait. I love that. And I love when they take their time yeah. and they just meander and you're just stuck there. Because that isn't that the beauty of it all? I mean, yeah. you're not this this is their space mm-hmm. and you're kind of coming in to see them. So yeah, you wait on yeah. them. Okay, so now to recap, Sorry. what all no, happened was what I, I said, Rhino, you were all the way back at Seinfeld, Jackie? <laughs> that was so long ago. We went over stuff like Rhino. Uh, we I made the comment about the the video. Rhino's looking at the vlog, and then he said, oh, found it, Pizza Hut. And then we moved on to coming in at number 26, we have Gorilla Falls Exploration Trail. And I explained oh. about that, and he's like, did you turn into Hoobie Halloween? And then we went through Adam Sandler. And That's then great. out of nowhere, you're just like, you know what I love about this far? <laughs> 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 so you guys count on me to do that ridiculous stuff so you can laugh perfect. at me. Yeah. So <laughs> gorillas. I wish I could stand there at the window longer than is you're supposed. That's me no. being selfish, but I really wish I could stand at that window oh. and look at that little gorilla having Dumb. fun with his blanket and, mm-hmm. You know, the parent gorilla is hanging out there. It, it, I just want to stand. They're stand so there. intense yeah. about moving you on. It's like yes, the second are. anything's shy, yeah. ma'am, move, yep. move, move. Yeah, why do they do that? What's I, up They with don't that? want the backup line or whatever. Mm-hmm. But yeah. sometimes I want to be like, some people, I understand when it's somebody like who's on their phone and not paying attention or something yeah. like that. But some of us who are like, ooh, and taking like actual mm-hmm. pictures and videos. And they'll be like, sir, you have to keep moving down. Like you no. step forward. Take a spot, move, 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 go. Mm-hmm. And that's, yeah. I'm, I hate it. I hate that too. It I is like amazing that. though. Like, but I to love come seeing the gorillas. Cl- oh, my Amy, gosh. good. Gorilla. Yeah. Good. Mother, Amy. Yes. I'm, I'm going to allow an exception one time. Okay. You can use a line from the Universal show here. I'm not yelling it on this show. You can do it. No, I'm not doing it anymore. Do it, Rhino. It's retired. Okay. okay. This is something. Stop I- eating my <laughs> sesame cake. <laughs> <laughs> it's so naughty pants. Okay. You could have even started with the lower one. Please stop eating Please. my sesame cake. Stop eating my sesame cake. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's when he shoves it in his mouth. <laughs> stop eating my sesame cake. Oh my goodness. It's a good movie. Have you ever been on? Have you? What? Do you know what that's Congo. For? Did you no, watch that? is it Laura Congo? Lenny classic? Wait, okay. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop, Del stop, Roy Lindo. stop, stop, stop. Jackie. Oh, here we you, go. You've seen Congo? I'm in trouble. No. Oh. I thought she was saying I like, thought... she knew what it was from, too. I'm not going to oh, lie. Oh, I thought you knew. Yeah. No, I, I didn't know. know. I didn't. Oh, you played I it cool. It. Okay. I got really excited for a second. Oh, not I'm saying sorry. you let me down, but a let little bit. Down. It but... seems like always let you down. <laughs> <laughs> always. Yeah. I just got really excited because you were kind of like one up in Denny there for a second. Like, like you know do you know what that's from? I didn't. Denny? I thought you did. Mm-mm, no. Oh. Tim Curry, Delroy <gasps> Lindo. Oh, Tim Laura Curry. Lenny. Now I'm in. Oh, it's a great movie. It's good. Yeah. Okay. It's good. Okay. It's a good Michael movie. Crichton. It's the one they I've did after Jurassic list. Park. Yeah. It's kind of, it's got a gross moment in it though. Oh, it's got a couple. It's got a, yeah, it's got a couple gross yeah. moments. Yeah. Yeah. It opens with an eyeball being thrown out to somebody. Yeah. With a, it's not um, an overly what's scary name? movie. Bruce Campbell. Oh, yeah, it is Bruce Campbell yep. in that part. A young Bruce Campbell. Wow. It's like 1994. Post, post Army of Darkness for sure, but uh, pre, pre-Spider-Man pre cameos. Mm. Yeah, he's mm. very skinny. Denny, can, when you're writing stuff down, can you do it like a little bit more aggressively for the audio listeners? Like, writing this down I'm now. Writing this adding down. Adding to the list, I Congo. Did. I wrote Congo and Bruce Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. I didn't. <laughs> the next note was soup. Oh, Danny, I am so sorry. He is such a small part of that movie. No, nope. your expectations are just no got a line. Now. Yeah. Um. Then. Uh, <laughs> yeah. There's one other big person in that movie, and I. Why am I struggling to think about who it is? It's oh, probably Ernie the guy Hudson. That plays the dad. Ernie what? Hudson. 
Oh yeah, I was yeah. Yeah, yeah. God, I'm gonna. I haven't watched that movie in a couple of years now. Yeah. I know. I definitely own it, but I'm like that book is my white whale. If I could ever find like a brand new copy of it, it's like, what I want. I have a copy. I can let you borrow it. You no, know? no, no. I want my own brand new copy. Okay. You know like, there are things called bookstores, and you can just they, get them. Go to any bookstore, is look it? for it on Amazon. It is not available new anywhere. It's as if it went out of print. Oh, weird. Does it have to be a paperback? Yes, I'd prefer a paperback. Okay. Well, I mean, it's in that awesome mass market paperback, so it's like really thick. Yeah. Short. That's I, I. That's what I like. Jurassic I like ones. mass market oh. paperback books. Those are my. Those are my favorite. I don't mind like the new size that they started making for the Star Wars books. So they're a little too large for me to hold because I like to do the one hand hold while I'm reading. But he, he makes them feel me. more sophisticated. Yeah. The only <laughs> the only hardcover books I'll take is if they are autobiographies or biographies. I don't know something about those that I I just I like having a hard physical copy of that. But for fiction, random stuff, I'd prefer. Congo's on paperback. Hulu right now for free. What? Yeah, it's on Hulu if you want to watch it. Ah, okay, I just Hulu. checked. Sorry. Fantastic. Okay. Well, I feel like that's it for Gorilla Falls. This is something that people might not go. It's not all. (laughs) Okay. It's not all. You shut your mouth when you're talking to me. (laughs) (laughs) I have a feeling this is just one of those things that people don't always get to. When they're visiting. I mean, yeah. we, we did ma- once, I think, when the kids were little. Like, we just got there are rides to ride, and there yeah. are other things to do, and you Same just here. don't always stand and look at the gorillas. Yeah. But yeah. Well, you're Same not going to see the gorillas on the safari. They're not a part of it. This is the way <laughs> to see it. We're not at the safari. And, and, uh, but I will say, a lot of people, I feel like, get discouraged because they yeah. go to the Maharaja Jungle Trek, which we'll talk about in Asia, Same. and they're like, oh, we want to see the tigers. and. Mm. I, I think what it may be one out of 10 times you actually see the tigers out and about. I never see well, them anytime them. I go. What? I've seen them, but more often than not, I don't see tigers, oh. but gorillas, you see them every single yes. time. And That's it's, right. it's not really a question of how, like, will you see them? It's how many will you see? Cause there's, sure. it's either a lot or then it's like, sometimes it's a ton because you see them on the other side is then you're leaving as well too. I love it. Yep. I really Great love it. Great theming back there. Great photography opportunities back there. So Yes, yep. absolutely. And I was uh, wrong. Uh-oh. It's not on Hulu. It's with the Showtime hat on. Sorry. Oh, I, well, I don't want to be correct. Scratch corrected. out my yeah, note scratch now. Unless you got the Showtime right plug-in. Who has that? Holy. Make sure you verbalize it, Denny. Scratching out. Scratch out Hulu. There's a line. That was my impersonation of a pen on paper. Thank you. <laughs> it was <laughs> awful. Together, together, we can get the job done for those audio listeners out there. Man. Okay, coming in at number 27, Rafiki's Planet Watch. Board a rustic train to discover Disney's long-term commitment to animal care and conservation, including sections such as Conservation Station. Enjoy exhibits where you can encounter animals, watch scientists work in the Science Center, view our veterinary facilities, and more, including the animation experience at Conservation Station where you learn to draw one of Disney's most beloved characters as you explore how live animals help you inspire your animation drawing. And also, we can't forget about affection section. Meet a variety of unique domesticated animals and interact with our animal care experts at this expansive outdoor space. I like how they make a note that they are the domesticated animals. Yes. They're the ones that you can come in contact with. The goats are domesticated. No wild animals yeah. happen in here. Yeah, you're not petting you're a not lion. Not brushing not a today. cheetah. No. No. But that is on my bucket list. <laughs> brushing so, a cheetah? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. I love the train. So it wasn't until we visited Animal Kingdom either our third or fourth time mm. that we even knew about that. So it's something that I, and we had our maps, like, because we didn't know much about Animal Kingdom mm-hmm. at all. And so I'm really surprised that we missed it mm-hmm. the first couple times, but we completely missed it. And anyway, mm-hmm. it's a really cool thing. Even if you are not into going in, going to pet animals, even if you're not into petting zoos and you're not into, you know, seeing where they care for the animals and any of that stuff that's up there. It's even just cool just to go on the loop, Mm -hmm. just to ride a train in Animal Kingdom is really fun. So I I was okay with the train until the other day when Rhino and I were doing a dining review and we were sitting (laughs) in Harambe Market 
I feel like they were trolling us. I know they have to blow the horn, but the way the conductor was not just like after the horn blew, like she specifically stared us down and waved as she was passing. Like, I know exactly what I'm doing right now while you're trying to record your little video. And yeah, deal with it. I see you over there. And you're like my I'm grandfather doing... entering a room at any given moment. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's what he does. Cut That's... to Pete walking in. Guys, can you keep it down? I'm napping. <laughs> oh. That's my, I, and I was going to talk to it when we got to Harambe Market, but that's my favorite place to sit and work in Animal Kingdom is in Harambe Market. And it's because of that train. Like wh- when the market is closed, nobody's back there and there's plenty of seating and sure. fans overhead. And I love the horn of the train and I'll stop what I'm doing and wave at the guests. It, <laughs> back to my thing. It was one of the most insane experiences because not only was the train happening every about seven minutes, on top of that too, it was closed when we were sitting there doing it uh, in terms of the food places being closed. Yeah. But there were still cast members constantly walking around. They changed the same trash can like three times. Oh. That was no one else was there putting food in. They just oh. kept checking it. It was so bizarre. That's like funny. it felt like we fell asleep and woke up in this strange world of Harambe <laughs> Market where trash cans magically filled up. Oh, well, wow. Fairyland <laughs> and such. Know. But yeah, Conservation What'd Station. You, uh, you heard me. <laughs> you heard me. Uh, no, I. It's it's a great thing. And mm-hmm. on top of you know, on top of all the great that they're doing in there, like surgery that you get to watch with the animals and stuff. It's, it's crazy. just, uh, you yeah, know, it's, it's insane. It's just, it's one of those things where I feel like it, if you make the effort to ride the train around, you will, uh, you'll ne- inevitably see something that appeals to you. Maybe it's, it's just the train ride. Mm-hmm. That might be what appeals to you. Maybe it's watching the surgery or whatever else is happening in there. Maybe it's the drawing. Maybe it's the petting zoo. There's, I feel yeah. like, I feel like you can. <laughs> I like the space you just <laughs> had between those two zoo. words. I, I was just trying to stretch it out longer and longer because I can tell Denny wants to talk and I'm like, I no. I want to talk. <laughs> I want to talk. But here's the, I mean, you get to see some of the backstage animal enclosures back there Very as true. well yep. on the train ride. Stuff that you will never see if you don't get on that sideways facing train car. Yeah. Sorry. And cast members riding on bikes around backstage. There you go. Yeah. That's the What's other, better than that. That's the other thing that reminds me of that remi- it reminds me of Disneyland mm-hmm. and that's another reason why I love to get on that train. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's cool. Very yeah. good. Very good yeah. stuff. So we we enjoy Rafiki's Planet Watch and Conservation Station mm-hmm. and Affection Section. Mm-hmm. Very much so. But we're going to move on to dining. So coming in at number 28 <laughs> we have my handy. Sing it, Rhino. You came and you gave without taking, but so, I sent you away. Oh, my my handy. Handy. <laughs> okay. That's a little inside joke from before we started recording. Mahindi is the popcorn stand as you enter in Africa. As soon as you come over uh, the the bridge and you're kind of looking at Tamu Tamu refreshments, but you're like, no, I don't want refreshed. I want popcorn. And it's right there on the right. And yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a good place to get popcorn. Right, Denny? I've never gone there. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, oh, yeah. I, uh, she got nothing. She got nothing. I mean, you know. When, I think we got holiday buckets there once, you and I, maybe. Yeah, oh. a long time ago. I mean, when the yeah. Simba okay. popcorn bucket thing was raging on, that was where you that. got your Simbas. Oh, yeah. So I never understood that one because it just, like, it's you just, have like, to hold dangling. It. I know. It's that's, for the pictures. Yeah, I know. It's for mm-hmm. the picture. But, like, when it's just sitting regularly, it just looks like you're torturing this poor little lion. You're torturing JTT. Portraying? Portraying. Portraying. What's that word? I don't this know. It's like you're world. sketching him, but awfully. <laughs> Where we make our own words up. You make them up at Mahindi. Yeah, That's where you do it. Okay. And then coming in at number 29, Tusker House Restaurant. Love this place. Love it. So very much. Love yeah. it so much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just so unique and yeah. it's it's approachable. Like there are African flavors that you can that you'll find there but nothing that I mean it's all very hey I can eat that and so can my kid my kid can try that and mm-hmm. actually might like it and the character experience is fantastic there. I have taken so many pictures um in that restaurant 
it's ridiculous. Just the oh. the beautiful draping of the fabric at the you know the tall tall uh, roof line, the ceiling above. It's it's. I will I always it. go to Tusker House if I get an opportunity. Yeah, so I love it. Us too. We love it too. It's just it, everything you said. Mm -hmm. it, the it, it feels like you're it it again like so many other places at Walt Disney World. Mm -hmm. It feels like you're in a different place. Mm -hmm. It just it doesn't feel like you're at Disney World when you're in there. The the decor is so spot on. Yeah. It's so cool, and the food is amazing. Yeah. And we we do love the characters there too. I love I love seeing the the characters in different outfits. That's just one of my favorite things. So fun. Yeah. Very good. What about Rhino? you? Rhino? I've been once. I went once with Steve Porter. There was a there's a oh, video of it on the Does Unplugged YouTube channel. And I actually was shocked at how much I enjoyed all the food that was in there. And it was a, it was a lot of fun, but it was expensive at that time. Yes. So it was it was yeah, it wasn't not. it was not a cheap dining experience. However, mm -hmm. the qual it was it wasn't your standard fare of food, which I really, really enjoyed. Very good. Okay, moving on to number thirty, we have Dawa Bar, a very popular bar that you know. It's also like the seating area for, well, not the seating area for Tusker House, but it's like the the waiting room for Tusker House. You're going to be hanging out around Dawa Bar, and yeah, lots of lots of mixed drinks, beers on tap. Yeah, can't beat Dawa Bar. Mm -mm. Really? Is That's it a so good one? Uh, yeah. I'll be honest. I don't usually go there. Okay. I do when it's pouring down rain and there's no other safe spot around. It's like Dawa Bar is right there and you can always find a covering. And you know what? Yeah, their drinks are good. Okay. I love Dawa Bar. One I'm time I it. had a pina colava there and watched the um, the Jammin' Jungle Parade. Mm. Yeah. My kids and, and husband were what? The, the, my kids and my husband went on the, um, mm -hmm. I want to call it Grizzly River Run, and I know that's not what it's called. Right. Um, Cali, Cali River Rapids. Mm -hmm. And I didn't mm -hmm. feel like getting wet. So I was like, I will be right here. Thank you. Having a Dawa Colada. Good. Mm -hmm. I don't think the parade went past there, but you might be right. I have pictures. Hmm. I'm just trying I to think of the route. Was, I saw it there was closer to the route safari. used to pass like at least where the Starbucks was. I know that a hundred percent where yeah. the Starbucks yes. is. Yeah. It definitely Absolutely. came down so that way toward sense. the front it of the park. I don't know where it, it came out Dawa. though. But that Dawa well, is I right guess on the there's other the side big opening that's right beside Kilimanjaro Safaris. I only ever watched it. Mm, you know I, what? That's probably where it came out. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I literally only ever watched it, including the Christmas version, like mm -hmm. by Flame Tree, right at that turn. I just it just seemed like it seemed like the most convenient place, but that's why I'm just like that was I'm, the jingle jungle. Yeah, yeah. No, right. I that's I I wasn't yeah. questioning Jackie on it being jingle wrong. Jungle I'm just like I didn't realize it ever went that far because that was back pre Pandora. So I always assumed it snuck out somewhere by Mickey. What was it? Camp Mickey Mini? Oh, yes. somewhere there. But I don't. But it would make more sense to continue going, especially if Rhino's. In, I don't know. I don't know, man. I like. I'm lost Camp on this Mickey. one. Well, yeah, Denny, that that's cute. for our extinct Animal Kingdom I episode know. that we're never going May to do. It rest in peace. Mm -hmm. And Pocahontas and her forest friends. Yeah. How high does the sicamore grow? How high does the sycamore grow? <laughs> if you cut, cut it, down, it down, you'll never, never know. know. And you'll never mm -hmm. hear the wolf Bro. cry to the blue moon. <laughs> I didn't know which verse that I was supposed to do with it. Also, I don't want to sing that song. Mm. I feel like there's some questionable lyrics in it. I mean, it's a good song, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but probably questionable lyrics in most things these yeah. days. I guess mm -hmm. I don't. Not the song "Milkshakes." Mm. Tell you that much. Okay, milkshakes. The dessert you'll find at our Pizza Hut. Okay. Oh, oh. Yes. nailed it. I don't remember milkshakes while I worked there, but you We're might be wrong. There will be to it. Pizza milkshakes. Shake. Pizza, pizza, pizza shake. shake. <laughs> there will be milkshakes yeah. yeah. mac and cheese ice yeah. cream mm. that's a well, thing i mean that's already a thing yeah, yeah. and, and the, we're gonna make it a pizza thing. Uh, actually that same ice cream shop now makes a pizza flavor ice cream as well there too. we go boom you guys just laughed at me and here we are now there adopting it, it in our new business model yeah but i believe that <laughs> ice creamery is only in like the new york area so okay could make it difficult to get it shipped down to florida 
We'll have to see. I know Rhino already found a great location near Cocoa Beach for ours. There is, oh. uh, well, I, I I checked while we were doing it because I, I thought, well, podcast grooves. Yeah. But uh, they said there's a Pizza Hut down there, and it was a dine-in. It was a uh, buffet, but I think it might have closed due to COVID. Oh. So we we are. I'm we going to call and investigate. Yeah, I think it would cruise. be funny. Yeah. Oh gosh. I'm gonna like put on a fake mustache and be like, "Hello, my name is uh, Jim, and I'm calling about your Pizza Hut buffet." Yes. I would um, <laughs> like to inquire about the buffet. <laughs> are you back and oh returned? Gosh. Are you still using kale to dress your buffet? Thank you. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> Moving on to number thirty-one, a place that Rhino and I have just recently dined at. We've got Kusafiri Coffee Shop and Bakery, and you know what? Yeah, baked goods, warm beverages. Why not? But don't pass on their savory options there. I think they're worth going out of your way for, and hopefully they stay around long enough to keep this relevant more than just a couple months. But Very good. It's mm. the fact mm. is it's good, so it makes me think that it's going to have a short shelf life Ugh. at Kusa Ferry. But that's why we can't have nice good things. stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. Are they still doing the pastries in the morning? Yeah, I mean it's it was on the menu. Oh, it was on the menu. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I I mean, but I don't. What's morning? Uh, what is morning? What pre, is morning? Pre twelve o'clock. Mm-hmm. I what's. Eleven fifty nine. That's still morning. I don't. I don't know. know At Disney, early. it's it's till ten thirty, and then you're done. Oh, it's a Mickey D's morning. Then it's day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Could you get to get a Happy Meal? That's right. here's the thing about our pizza. We'll be having breakfast pizza. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. All times of day. Oh, I like scramby that. eggs on the pizza. Okay. Pancake pizza. Whoa, you're onto something. Oh, bruv. Oh, thank you. Got thank you. <laughs> Could I get the kid a happy meal? <laughs> <laughs> Is that from that man's movie that you said you don't watch any mm. of his movies? I don't. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you're it's talking about a there. David Schwimmer quote. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. That's it. That's it. For sure. Okay. Move, coming in at number 32. Moving on. Coming in at number 32. Tamu Tamu Refreshments. So if you're trying to put in context where Tamu Tamu Refreshments is, this is right across from Mahindi. And... Mahindi is right across from Tamu Tamu Refreshments. <laughs> Thank you for wow, clarifying. I'd like to clarify something helpful. from earlier when we spoke about the safari. It was definitely the ostriches. It was the ostriches. Oh. I have found- <laughs> <laughs> There's video proof. Wow. Oh my god. That is too funny. Oh god. Wow. Sorry. The children in their eyes. Yeah. You do learn a lot about the animal kingdom. Oh. At the animal kingdom. <laughs> Craig hates go. ostriches, and Craig's the one who got this shot. Yeah. They just needed wow. a little privacy. They and just needed a slice of pizza. They were not <laughs> getting any privacy at all. We don't have to see an animal kingdom show about trying to get those two to uh, reconnect. What mm-hmm. what do they call it on like on the late night TV shows to make uh is it Whoopi? Whoopi, thank you. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of got I late night TV shows in the 1960s, maybe. I know I was gonna say a different word from Big Bang Theory, but that's uh, not it. Speaking of Whoopi, do they offer Whoopi pies at this window we were just oh, talking my about? Word. See, I was trying to make it full circle. Uh, Couldn't do it. No, I think Tamu Tamu <laughs> offers like the dole whips. That's where you can get the Lion King specialty treats. Well, I feel like we're we're special, and then they're just there all the time now. Did I make that up? Isn't uh, there? Isn't yeah, one of the Soft serves named after. Yeah, no, you're right. No. Mm-hmm. I didn't. It's... They have breakfast oh. here, and they have birthday blueberry. They have a birthday blueberry muffin right now, but they also have like sausage egg and cheese biscuit and a honey pistachio croissant, which sounds oh. intriguing. What is breakfast? Mm. I don't know. Don't know, do you? You have it before eleven fifty nine a.m. No, 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 no. Ten twenty nine. Ten thirty. You're done. Can you get to get a happy meal? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you Pacino saying it? <laughs> there is the Simba. Say hello to my little Happy Meal. <laughs> or no, I feel like it's more De Niro. Yeah. Ah, can you milk me? These shoes. <laughs> milk- These shoes. <laughs> There's a Simba Sunset. Uh, Simba. <laughs> <laughs> Simba Sunset, which is a Dole Whip pineapple with strawberry. That's what they have. That is yeah, it. Yeah. yeah, that is it. That is it. And Tamu, a warm Tamu. brownie yep. Sunday. <sighs> Ooh. Oh, Denny's got a Denny's knows the review she's yeah. doing yeah. for real. Mm-hmm. 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 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, another thing Denny would like to review one day, uh, a place that she was so adamant was Mahindi, but <laughs> yes, it I absolutely was. wasn't. Coming in at number 33. I admitted 33, you were correct. <laughs> coming in at number 33, we have Harambe Fruit Market. Now, Denny, what do you like about Fruit Market? The fresh strawberries. You know, I've talked before about Disneyland and how much I love their fruit. This is the place where you can get fruit in Animal Kingdom. And the fresh strawberries, every single strawberry in that package is always Perfect. Now, what if it's outside of that February to March still time frame? They're still there. But they're not as fresh. Oh, I'm sure they're good. I mean, they're probably good, but let's be real. As Floridians, Listen, our, our, our good strawberry season, I mean, that's I know. into what, mid-February through maybe the beginning of April, but they, they've yeah, been looking a, a little... Window. They've been looking a little bad in the grocery store, so. Well, this is a tradition. My sister gets them. My niece and nephew get them when they're down. Like, this is the treat is to be able to sit and eat fresh strawberries in Animal Kingdom. I don't know why, but, like, I'll be passing by the fruit stand, and I'll snap a quick picture and send it to my sister. And every single time, oh, I love that place. Like, it's just just one of those moments where we go, yep, here's a little... Here's your spot. It was so. home to my pineapple incident. So. <gasps> Do tell. I, I think I've told this story maybe uh, even Forget on this me. show before too. Is that but from it was how I met your mother. Yes, it, Isn't that it's a joke. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's a little play on that. But okay. it's the uh, it, we've talked about it. I, I think I've talked about it on the show before. But it was for the celebration of. I don't. It was the special show they did for that one summer for the Lion King when it was the 20th anniversary. So it was okay. would have been 2014 where they got celebrity narrators to come in and tell the story of the Lion King inside the celebration theater. And like we saw Viola Davis as our narrator. Wow. And it was insane. But the entire th- it was a super expensive. It was like. 80 or $90 a ticket, but it was unlimited food and alcohol. And mm-hmm. so, you know, yeah. I think it was, I think it was me, Corey, JL, Sean, and Kylie. Okay. And so things got out of hand pretty quickly <laughs> uh, with that group. And we were responsible. I will just say that we were responsible with it, knowing what kind of event it was, but um, it still got crazy. And so like all the foods, available and they had harambe food market fruit market open and so they had like whole pineapples just sitting on top and oh. i walked up to them and i was like can i have that pineapple and they're like what do you want with it i said can i have it they said sure take it oh <laughs> so my they, yeah. star so they just handed me a full pineapple because it was part of everything in there and then like as we were walking away there was like one of the people with balloons and they had a frozen balloon and i was like can I have that? <laughs> they said, yeah, sure. <laughs> so there's a picture of me somewhere, probably in Jeez. Facebook still, of me carrying a pineapple and a frozen balloon out. And we kept the frozen oh. balloon for like a long time. Like we deflated it and oh had it gosh. in like our our little adventure scrapbook. Cause just because it was so, so random and weird. But That's a riot I miss that half. event. Yeah, that was the that was probably the best after hours event. I had ever been to mm. at oh Disney. The best one they've ever had. The food was on point. Everything about it was incredible outside of the pineapple incident. Did you eat the pineapple? I do believe we did Good. eat the pineapple. Good. Yeah. Good. It's Good. It, Good. well, the hard part was we were like, okay, so how do you eat a whole <laughs> pineapple when you don't have a core or core, a core, core. a core when sure. you don't, when you don't know how to core the pineapple. Yeah. And then also like, it was like the struggle of, okay, well, we'll make select cuts around it. But then it's like, I feel like I'm wasting pineapple. And it was, it's very difficult. I recommend just buying your pineapple yes. store-bought already yes. cored. That's just my recommendation. It's oh, worth it. I have the best tool for doing that. And it's the easiest thing in the world. Mm. Is it one of those push-down have... things? No, it's a spiral. It's a, it's a thing like it's about like that. And it has a handle on the uh-huh. top. And it has a spiral blade around the center cylinder. And you twist it down into the pineapple, and it slices it and cores it. Oh, that's and cool. You, and, I've and seen those, yeah. The entire thing comes up, and okay. then you have a however tall your pineapple is, stack of pineapple slices. Mm. Wow. It's so easy. Yeah. I'm sure it saves mm-hmm. money, too, because I'm yeah. sure a whole pineapple is a lot better than the four ninety nine they charge for the one that's already mm-hmm. completely oh, cored out. Yeah. But, mm-hmm. And you can put it on the top of a burger that you've thrown on the grill, and it's, yeah. 
Wow. I'll tell you what you can put it on top of. Pizza. Hot dog. Not in this fight, Pizza Hut. (laughs) We don't do that here. Uh, No, No. Pizza Hut does Hawaiian pizza. Mm, Not this pizza. No. No, It's going to have to. Not this pizza. It's yeah. going to have oh, to. Yeah. There'll, there'll be a separate room for that. <laughs> it's, room for I'm that. just going to let you know right now. It's going to have to happen or I'm out. Okay, we'll fine. Uh, barbecue ham pineapple pizza. That's perfect. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm adding barbecue sauce to it. Are people going to get nasty with it? Oh, uh, Pizza Hut, we used to be able to, Well, technically, I don't think it was on menu, but we would open up barbecue sauce. You know sauce what we'll do? Second. Our fun little cork will be, we'll survey every person that comes to eat there and say, do you think pineapple belongs on a pizza? And we'll just keep it running, like one of those yeah. charts you color in, Yep. Mm-hmm. and we'll see where it goes. Yeah. And names go. on a board on yeah. the wall. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We'll Forever take photos of everyone who ever eats yes. pizza. Yes. Well, a like place- future murderers. Yeah, sorry. Got Absolutely. Dark. Go ahead. That did get dark. No, for a place uh, does not have pizza on it, but a quick service restaurant that unfortunately I, I want to be more positive. I mean, obviously, this is where we're trying to be positive, but this one, I feel like it's had some growing pains through the years and hopefully it gets back on track. But coming in at number 34, Harambe Market. And I, I think oh, we've I sold that, like, yeah. it's such a great area. But remember back when it first opened and each stand yeah. was unique yes. and a different menu? And, and, like, cool stuff you couldn't get everywhere else, you yeah. know? Mm-hmm. It was like, it wasn't, like, basic. It wasn't, like, oh, chicken and whatever. Sausage. It was, chicken. like, yeah, it was something. It was something. All, everything had, like, a twist. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, let's be honest. The food is still African-inspired, like, chicken and ribs. And it's still going and doing something different with the menu. Mm-hmm. But now all four stalls three stalls or four they are all the exact same items so uh it's it it just it's one of those things i guess it makes sense in terms of trying to keep profits up and stuff you know don't don't have a lot of food waste don't don't make a lot of things that people aren't going to order anyways but Mm. ultimately it's a big spot with lots of seating and i i still feel like if you're catching it while it's open because it does close pretty early, then you're going to get a decent meal out of it. So I, I still recommend it. Denny likes working there. She likes watching Choo Choo. I do. Well, and and the market closes fairly early in the day. And yeah. I, I don't know the magic time, but it's always, you know, when I stumble across it, nine times out of ten, it's closed or I've caught them just when they're shutting <laughs> the the line it's shutting the windows and everything which is fine like i've said i'm there just for a quiet spot next to the train but um yeah i it is i don't know why they took away the the different windows if it's what you're saying, like, or when, yeah. when that happened, did it happen before COVID? I feel like it was before. Okay. I think I remember that. Okay. Yeah. But so. I mean, obviously that's my brain has really uh, deteriorated yeah. since then, but I feel like it was one of those things that it, this wasn't like, it felt like it was going this way anyways, mm-hmm. but I, it's, you know what? It, Harambe market will thrive one day again. And I'll tell you what, in the time, the last time we were there, the amount of people who are coming up inquiring, like, we really want to eat here. Why isn't this open? And like, we're, well, we're closed. It's like, yeah. Yeah, I it's feel like, like you're missing out here. People want to spend money. Let yeah. them. I feel like if they did different kinds of egg rolls or something, you know, like, like half a dozen different mm-hmm. kinds of, of like lupia or something like that, like they do over in Adventureland. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Just, you don't like them very much. Mm-hmm. Mm. The spring rolls, <laughs> yeah, right. Huh. Is that what, what could they put there that you would enjoy? Uh, just food, hot dogs. Just <laughs> hot dogs. Yeah, they should put some street it, food there. Some African street food that would be so cool. I mean, that's what I'm picturing when I when I, I think, think that was the whole purpose oh, of the. That. It was a market with like yeah, yeah street food inspired. Food. Food. <laughs> I, think, I think it was. You're, I, I, think I you're, never went there. It wasn't. I think you're but if it, it if they could absolutely just keep it open a little longer, it'd be great. Yeah, people would probably have dinner there and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, Uh, moving on to number 35, we have Mombasa Marketplace, a place to get... Mombasa? Mombasa. (laughs) (laughs) You got me. You got me there. No, I mean, there's there's obviously African-inspired merchandise uh there's you know they've they've had like limited edition like, ears and stuff in there and backpacks lounge flies things like that is this where like i felt like when the lion king was celebrating yeah. it's a last milestone as it became a very lion king centric area yeah mm-hmm. yeah i mean and it's a have- small little gift shop and they've got some of the wood carvings That's that are there as well too so i mean and there's definitely ones, yeah yeah mm-hmm. yeah 
Yeah. Some cool stuff there. Mm-hmm. Cool little store. And it's connected to coming in at number 36, Zuri's Sweet Shop. They, like, I, I'll be honest. Rhino and I walked in there. Uh-huh. And, of course, the sweets look good. It looks like classic Disney treats that you can get at any baked goods shop. And I'm looking at them. I'm like, why can't they just resurrect the poop? Why yeah, can't they just bring the it back? snacks. You know, great. I know it weirded people, people out and stuff, those. but it was like, Good. you know, in an age where Disney wants to be more relevant on social media and get themselves out there, that was like one of the biggest things they, they were just did in general. They, they were like barely there. I felt like they came yeah. out and yeah, they, people, by the time you learned about it and you're like, okay, I finally went over to get it. Nothing. Mm-hmm. Kathy people liked them. Didn't she have it? Mm-hmm. I feel like she got Yes. Them. She yeah. really enjoyed them. And yes, people mm-hmm. had a cow sideways. And that's why we don't have the poop snacks anymore. Cow pies. Mm-hmm. Cow pies. Um, one thing you can get in Surrey Sweets is um, these beautiful baskets that are made by um, artisans in Africa and a portion of your purchase of those baskets goes back um, to that uh, collective. Oh. And um, in each basket has a little tag on it that describes who tells the, the name of the person who made that particular basket. And you'll find them in all shapes and sizes. So that's pretty cool. cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's really nice. Mm-hmm. That's like good. That. I, you know what? I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to say we're ending it there on a positive note. There it is. I mean, the whole thing's been positive, of course, but that's like, that's ultra positive. I'm not sure what that, Love that. weird, Love strange that. accent was there, but it was very, it was over the top positive. And for that reason, we will take this back on the rails. So thank you so much, everyone, for having this fun little conversation about Africa with me. And you know what? I hope everyone out there enjoyed it. I really hope you do. And if you did enjoy it and you want to support us more, you could always support us by booking a vacation through Dreams Unlimited Travel. Get a free no obligation quote today at dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. And you could always support us more if you're watching this on YouTube by hitting the thumbs up, subscribing to the channel, and leaving comments, questions, and video suggestions in the comments section. And if you are listening to this podcast, subscribe wherever you listen. And if you are able to rate and review the podcast, that would also help out a lot. But that's going to do it for us. We'll see you again next time we go off the rails. Take care. Bye-bye.